Hello, let's look at solution to challenge number two, which was called Garbage from Flare 2020. So as usual, we get our note. So this time it says one of our team member developed a Flare on challenge, but accidentally deleted it. We recovered it using extreme digital forensic techniques, but it seems to be corrupted. We would fix it, but we are too busy solving today's most important information security threats affecting our global economy. You should be able to get it working again, reverse engineer it and acquire the flag. And we get, of course, our exe files uh, in this challenge. So let's look at it. So I have it in this Flare VM. So it's called garbage exe as the uh, also challenge. And if we uh, run it, we get some error that it's not a valid Win32 application and yeah, access is denied, but also when we run it, file on it, it says that it's UPX compressed. So what I did in this challenge was to actually open this PE bur application and just drag the, drag the file there we go to challenge and drag the garbage we can see we have this those section upx01 and something called resources but also if we go go to section headers we can see there are some issues with this row size of this res xrc section so we need to somehow probably fix it to get it working but we can see it's also UPX compressed. So let's try to decompress UPX minus D garbage. And we get also invalid overlay size file is possibly corrupt. So I guess the first thing is to actually be able to unpack it. So we need to make it uh, working. So what I did was actually I checked another application, which was UPX packs. And of course we could pack something and, and compare, but I remember I had this Kaboom challenge from one of the other CTF, which was UPX uh, compressed. And we can see we have a bit different section. So there was UPX zero, UPX one, but we don't have this UPX two. So what I did was actually rename this and I can rename from here. So I renamed this to UPX two. And also this PE bear tool actually allows us to fix such errors automatically. There is this icon here, which resize to fit sections. And if we press it, it says, do you really want to resize, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we do want to end it, resize it to 400. And now we have our uh, file modified. So what we can do, we can just save the executable and I will save it solution and already have it here, but let's call it garbage F5 exam. So with that, we should be able to unpack. So let's, let me go to solution folder and UPX minus D garbage five. And yeah, we were able to unpack the binary. So that was the first step. So the second step would be to actually, yeah, somehow get the flag from this garbage file. So if we still, if we run it again, we still get some problems with running it. So we could analyze again and try to understand what is the issue. But what actually I did was started to analyze it in Ghidra. So let me just bring my Ghidra on the screen. And this is the application loaded in Ghidra. And of course we can start with the entry. Entry looks a bit messy, let's call it like that. There's a lot of going on. I guess it's like a standard win uh, main or win entry uh, function, but we actually could find out what is the, the real main from this application, from this call here, this unaffected ASI is then returned. And I guess this is like a return code from, from main.
So we could find out that this function is actually our interesting one, but we can also go through strings. And there are quite few interesting strings in this binary. There's like a long string with a lot of characters which look like an alphabet and we have two of them and if we check the xrefs we can find that there are some not that many but a few xrefs and if we go to the first one we will end up in the same function as the one we saw in the entry and in here there are some interesting stuff going on I already have them a bit renamed renamed but we see some yeah, bytes being assigned to variables. And then we have those long strings, of course, being used here and here. And yeah, more of those bytes being assigned. I already have like a correct names. So one is content, one is file name. And what we can also see, we here we have some calls. Let me just try to find, but they are not really visible correctly in this disassembly uh, sorry in this decompile because of this issue that we actually have with the code so we we see here that there are some like calls but it's like a yeah there's no name just like an address and if we go here i already mark it with the comment that is create file we could go here and we can see okay there is like a create file but it's not bound and i guess that's the issue with this binary when we try to run it so those functions are not resolved correctly here uh, we would have to fix it but of course if we can get to analyze this binary without actually needed to run it we will be uh, fine won't have to uh, run the, the binary and this is what i actually did so i analyzed and we can see that this function actually assigns a lot of bytes to two variables. One I called content, the other one I called file name. And from those calls, if we would follow those addresses, we would have that we create a file with first passing as a file name, what we will decrypt here. Then we will do a write file and then close handle. So we can see that the file is like being created something is written to the file and then close it and shall execute a is called so we actually execute this file that we create and the only difficulty is to of course those uh, data is not the real data they are uh, encrypted so our goal is to find out what's the algorithm of encryption here being used and of course decrypted and we can notice that those data are being passed to this method that I called encrypt. Of course, it should be encrypt, decrypt. And if we go here, I have it already here like a class created that assigns text, size, and of course the key and key length. And there is some like soaring uh, being used. So it's basically simple XOR, but with this key as this alphabet being used so not simple word being used but this this alphabet is being used so the only difficulty here is actually to get those bytes out of this binary mimic this encrypt decrypt function in i guess like python and just run it with with those data with those uh, keys and this is actually what i did so i didn't fix the binary to be able to run it I just yeah code the same algorithm and run those encrypted bytes to, to get the flag and yeah I did it not a very nice way I guess it could be done much prettier but I just yeah have the decrypt function uh, it takes text and alphabet uh, which shouldn't be called I guess alphabet but doesn't matter I have the same like constants here the same code it could be even be written more Pythonic way, I guess, some kind of folding here. We probably don't have this, don't need this while loop, but nonetheless, it does the job. And then I have those bytes, which I copied and pasted here. We need to reverse the order because there's 
like in the binary in Ghidra, we see them here as like in this form, but of course in the in the code they will be reversed uh, like in the bytes. Uh, so I just like, yeah, just do the reverse of the bytes. Didn't even spend time to think if it could be done in more clever way. I guess it could be done in more clever way, but that wasn't the, the point here. Actually, it was just to get um, as quickly as possible the flag, I guess. So we have the file name, which I yeah named the variable in based on what the content is being used for. Uh, so here's the file name, data for the file name, and the content is a bit longer. So we have parts of the content here, also parts of the content here and here, and some more even here. And I just copy that to Python script and then just print the script. Uh, they use different uh, those keys, so uh, that's why we had two. They use different ones, and yeah, I guess just to make it a bit harder to decrypt, but yeah, that's not really a big issue. So when we run the script, we will get what is actually the file name and the content. And in this case, it looks like it was like sync the tanker VBS. So it was creating a VBS file and the content was just a message box. Congrats, your key is corrupt garbage free at flare on com. And that was the flag for this yeah, stage. So that was how I solved this uh, challenge. I didn't even try to fix the binary after um, the packing, uh, the packing, unpacking from UPX. I just go straight to Gitra and analyze the code, which was, yeah, everything was there. So didn't even bother trying to, uh, to fix the binary. But yeah, that was uh, enough to get the flag and uh, progress to stage three. So yeah, that's all for this challenge. I hope you liked it. If so, please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, if there are any questions to this solution, please uh, yeah, write a comment and see you in the next challenge. Bye bye.